Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Hello, my gardening friends. Welcome to your favorite garden show, brought to you each week for your enjoyment. I'm Dr. John, your host, and today I have a gentleman on who was on last year, and uh, he got a lot of calls from the show. He solved a lot of problems, and it deals with an insect in your yard that drives you up a wall. I'm not going to tell you any more than that, but if this insect gets you, you know you've been gotten. Lousy English, I know that. <laughs> the funding for this program was made possible by a grant from Mosquito Squad of Northern Virginia and Washington, D.C. The Mosquito Squad will rid your yard of nasty mosquitoes using non-toxic products. They have a time-release system that releases a spray for one minute three times a day. It also kills the mosquito that carries the West Nile virus. So fight the bite, say no to mosquitoes. The Mosquito Squad products are safe for birds, pets, and humans. The number to call is 703-928-9564. Hello, if you just tuned in, I'm Dr. John, your host, and you're watching Gardening News and Views. My guest should be here right about now. He should be coming in. Oh, here he comes now. Come right in. Come on in, Pat. I'm so glad you're coming back. Thank you very, very much. Nice to see you. Pull up a stool here and let's talk. Thank you, Dr. John. I teased our audience a little bit about this this monster that comes into the yard, and, and uh, I'm going to let you take the ball from there. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about yourself and uh, in introduce uh, yourself to our viewing audience here. I uh, I've actually start at the beginning. I, I was very young, uh, working with my grandpa, and loved working outside with him out in his yard. Uh -huh. Went through school, graduated with a finance degree, and never lost the itch to want to be outside. So in the garden. Yes. I, uh, I started uh, Outdoor Lighting Perspectives, a lighting company, over 10 years ago. And uh -huh. throughout that whole time, we were always in customers' yards getting destroyed by mosquitoes. We would have to put on the DEET, the OFF, everything. Yes. Uh, over two years ago, a business partner and myself started the Mosquito Squad. And the focus at that was to eliminate mosquitoes in backyards so people could enjoy it. There's the danger of West Nile, uh, other diseases uh -huh. that mosquitoes spread. but and that's the, that's the creature that I was teasing the audience about, the mosquito. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so, so how long have you been doing that now? It's going on three years. Three years. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year we had a lot of over 250 customers uh, just last year. And mm -hmm. uh, we did a study, an independent study of our customers, and 96.8% of them said it was an excellent service, that's the best service that, that they've had done in the last year, uh, because they finally got an opportunity to enjoy their yards again. Well, walk me through it now. Mm -hmm. uh, if somebody were to call up, and by the way, they'll run your telephone number on the bottom and your website and all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is, how, how do you control mosquitoes? Uh, how, how would you control Because here, you see all these here? I want to set a couple of these up yeah. here. These here are generally what people go in there and buy. They buy this kind of stuff. You see? Yep. And, 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 they, and they seem to work pretty good, I suppose. But We've tried them, and I, say, I was doing the same thing as well. They're uh -huh. good Goodbye. to get a knockdown. It's got a, a small percentage of perethrin in it that gives uh -huh. it a knockdown for the mosquitoes. Uh -huh. They really don't have much lasting power, even though some of them claim to last three, four weeks. Uh, they, don't. They, yeah. they really don't, because I've tried them too, yeah. and they don't. In fact, I have one of these others here, the spritzer one. Yep. I went out and used it, and yep. about two hours later, I'm out there going like that. That's exactly right. So uh -huh. if you were spraying that twice a day, you'd be very effective mm -hmm. for controlling your mosquitoes. But nobody does that. Most people go out before a party. By the end of the party, it's already broke down. Um, mm -hmm. So we were looking for something that would be uh, a little bit more environmentally friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted something that can control the mosquitoes. We wanted to have an incredible difference when we knock them down. And it takes a full approach. We have to go after the larva of the mosquito. So our technicians actually come out. We treat standing water. We look for places to prevent where mosquitoes can breed. Uh, a lot of times the corrugated pipes will be full of little nests for mosquitoes, the gutters. The gutters uh, are very, right above your head, they're full of leaves and yep. they're wet and they're damp. And what does it take, only about a teaspoon or a tablespoon full of water? A teaspoon, water? so yeah, a, a teaspoon bottle cap. A bottle cap full out in the woods in your yard can have a, be a breeding rod for mosquitoes. So really? with all the rain we've had this year, uh, most of our customers are telling us they're noticing the mosquitoes come out and they breed very quickly. You could have mosquitoes breeding, one mosquito breeding 300 mosquitoes every five days. So you think one about the mosquito, 300 mosquitoes in every five days. Remember that, folks, when you have your wood pile with a plastic tarp over it and it catches water, right? Exactly, and we also had uh, an interesting uh, phenomenon happen in our country with the tiger, Asian tiger mosquito. And they say the Asian tiger came across country from bird bath to bird bath. 
uh, where they spread across the entire country. In this area, if, you, if you're outside, you'll notice some mosquitoes that have a little striped back end on them. And that's the Asian tiger mosquito. They bite all day long, especially coming out uh, dusk, and they tear people up. I've got a little three-year-old son, and when he reacts to mosquitoes, he gets very large mosquito bites. Big welts, yeah. Big welts. And so I always feel bad. I'm another person. Some people seem much more attractive to the mosquitoes or they react much stronger. Mm -hmm. um, I'm one that does that. My son's the same way. And so that is one mosquito we're looking to control. Um, a lot of our customers have tried, they've been frustrated. They've tried the bait traps. They've tried different types of lights and everything else to try and eliminate mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And really nothing works unless you do a full approach where you're treating the larva for the mosquito. We're also treating the plant material. And my feeling is, is rather than spraying my son down with DEET, which is a known carcinogen and is not a great product to really cover your kids down in, um, it's effective and it keeps <coughs> the mosquitoes off. I'd rather spray the and treat the plants with something mm -hmm. that's much less toxic. Uh, <coughs> and every time the mosquitoes land on a plant for ivy, bushes where they nest, where they feed, um, our product, our treatment is going to kill that mosquito. Well, now, when you said you treat the plants, uh, how do you treat the plants? In other words, it is a misting system, or do you actually go in there with a tank spray? Give us a little out. Well, that. There, there's two ways to do it. The misting system is something that's been done for a long time, uh, especially in a lot of the southern states. We do a lot more of the barrier sprays, is what we call it. Uh, we emulsify the pro our product onto the underside of the plants. Mosquitoes, when they're looking to get a glucose feed or a sugar feed, mm -hmm. and that's what the female mosquito is living off before they come to get a blood feed, uh, we spray the underside of the leaves and we emulsify the product so that way it's got a coating on it. And the question people always ask is how long does it last, and it's typically 21 days. And that's the that's best you're able good. to get out of, that's out of any product. That's pretty good, yeah. So what we do is we set someone up just like clockwork. Every 21 days we're out, we're treating their property, uh, treating the plant material. And so even if the neighbor doesn't treat their property for mosquitoes, every time a mosquito comes in from the neighbor's property onto yeah. your own property, uh, they will typically land on a plant and it'll wipe them out. Mm -hmm. So we go for a full approach to wipe out the mosquitoes, both going after the larva, side, the larva and also going for the adult mosquito so they can't continue to breed and feed off of us. Oh, okay, so I get it. This is not a one-time shot. You mm -hmm. automatically come in, whether they're home or whether they're out shopping or soccer game on set. You just give out their regular schedule, right? Exactly. We come out on a regular schedule, typically the same day every 21 days, and mm -hmm. uh, it works great for our customers. And most of the time, most of our customers are out at work during the day, um, and they just come home, they get to enjoy their yards. And they get home, they've spent a lot of money on their outdoor living areas, the ki outdoor kitchens, and everything they've done. And we give them the opportunity to enjoy themselves 